Mm. Is there sugar in this? Oh, sugar. You want sugar? You say you want some sugar? Oh. I can get some sugar. Oh, you're, you're such a cornball. Oh, yeah, well, you're a sucker for my innate corniness. Yeah, I am. Maybe I'm just feeling all warm and momish this morning. Oh, that makes sense. Once Chelsea signed the papers, we officially got knocked up. Yes, we did. And obviously, it's a little complicated, but Chelsea seems to think that the baby's going to be better off with us. Yeah, maybe. Although, maybe with time to think about it last night, things might have changed. Hey. Hey. You guys about ready? Yeah. Nothing says good morning like a trip to the OB. That sounded really weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you have breakfast? Oh, I'm okay. Okay. Okay's fine about breakfast, but uh, are you still okay about your decision for the baby? It's crazy to know that there's a little freeloader in here. But once he's born, he's not going to be with me. I signed those papers, and it was the right thing to do. I mean, even being in this house, I can picture what the first thing is that he's going to break, or I can imagine him practicing surfing on the couch, you know? You imagined all that? Look. This kid isn't going to be scamming people or running from the cops like I was. And I don't plan to do any more of that either. So the public can rest easy. We promise you this kid's going to have a great life. Yeah. We're all on this together to make that happen. You won't have to go through anything alone. <laughs> that sure is a boy. Oh, please, give him a little privacy. I mean, look at these feet. He has huge feet. These are surfing feet. You better get him aboard very quickly. Um, Chelsea, I had this idea of talking to the doctor. OK, I know that you and the baby are doing really well, but I would love to make an appointment with a nutritionist. OK, um, but I'm eating fine. Oh, is this because before I said it was okay when you asked if I'd had breakfast? I'd had a bar. No, I know, and you're doing you're doing great. Um, but there's just a lot of new information out there right now, you know, like omega-3 for brain development and oh, yeah. you yeah. know that sort of thing. Go lean, go green. I read it in a magazine in the waiting room. Jeez. I mean, you know, it's just an idea. I mean, I would love to shop and cook for you so you don't even have to, you know, worry about it at all. Um, okay. Sure, make an appointment. We'll, we'll be there. Good. The three of us are going to give this baby the very best. I mean, wow. Look at this. Then, now, he has certainly grown. Yeah, he has. You know? This trip to the doctor was so completely different from last time. Last time I was like, hey, hi, I can't have kids. <sighs> this time it was like, wow, this is our son. Do you feel that? Don't you? Well, after I sidestepped that serving of guilt about how he was conceived. Hmm. That was just a moment when he was created. Raising him, I mean, eh, that's going to be forever. After what happened with Lucy, not everybody would be willing to give this a chance. Oh, no one's going to take Lucy's place. This little guy, he's, he's going to be his own special person. With his brother and his sister and his parents, he's always going to feel loved and wanted. Yeah. What about you? Hmm? Do you feel loved? Do you feel wanted? Huh? Do you? Do you? <laughs> no, I don't really. You don't? I don't really. You're going to have to. You don't? You might have to prove it. Prove it? Hmm. You got to run away from me? Don't even think of it. You got
Well, wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, thank you, ma'am. Hey, where are you going? Well, I find myself wanting to burn off some energy. Really? Because uh, you burned off a lot of energy up there. Nasty. Hey, come here. Let's go crazy. Let's go pig out and play video games and figure out which one that Delia and Reed and the new little guy is going to beat us at. Hmm? Beat us at? Mm-hmm. They'll beat you, sweetie, because um, mommy always wins. OK, tough girl. Mm-hmm. You like help? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, go. Hey. You're a tough guy. <laughs> Hey, what's wrong? It's Lucy. She's fine. But we need to talk. Lucy could end up with Daisy for good. This shouldn't be happening. If I had gone through the proper channels, or if Lucy was adopted by a family that actually loved her, or if Phyllis were to listen to her son's wishes and let her stay with us, this wouldn't be happening. I can excuse Phyllis's behavior. She loves Lucy, and that's real. She had every reason to believe that Daisy was going to be locked up for a long, long time. She was off by a couple of decades, Nick. Daisy doesn't even want Lucy. She's always just been a bargaining chip. She, she doesn't see her as a little person with her own thoughts and feelings. How can she raise her if she doesn't see that? The law only knows that Daisy wants her baby back. That's it. And that's all it takes. It doesn't matter what she said or did. Mom's holding all the cards. 